One of the coolest things about Celeste, a game about climbing a mountain, is how similar it is to actually climbing a mountain. And it is this similarity that will make you better not only at Celeste, but at every video game you ever play. I grew up rock climbing, and although this does not make me an expert on the subject, it does mean I know the jargon, so allow me to explain two climbing concepts. First is the beta of the climb. This is the information about the route up the wall. Sure, you could just heave yourself up, but if you know the beta, you know the most effective path. You've figured out the puzzle. Second is the crux, the hardest part of the climb. Sometimes you'll have a super easy intro, and halfway through the route, you'll get stuck on a really hard move. You may be able to complete the intro 20 times before you can get past the crux once. You won't know how hard the rest of the climb will be until you get past that point. Celeste stages are built off of these two principles. Let's take this dastardly strawberry as our example. When you start the stage, you know that 1. You can't touch these scary edges, and 2. The floors with red tendrils will turn into the scary edges once you step on them. With these two pieces of info, you start to flesh out the beta of the stage, the puzzle you're trying to solve. If you're skilled, you can walk over, jump on these two landings, and easily grab the strawberry, but you won't be able to get through the floor you previously walked on. And if you dash over the walkway, you can grab the strawberry, but then how do you get up on the two landings without dying? These two approaches apply in real-life climbing as well. I cannot tell you how many beefcakes would walk into the gym, ask to be put on the hardest to climb, and then burn themselves out just trying to do pull-ups the entire way up. And it was always hilarious. This is skill without knowledge. But some genius who knew how to get up the wall might lose grip strength halfway. That's knowledge without skill. Eventually, when you combine these two, you can make it through the crux. You've solved the beta of the stage, and you've got the skill. But you're not done yet. The beauty of Celeste is that when you die, you only get sent back to the beginning of the screen, so you try, and try, and try, and eventually, you make it through. Try, die, learn a bit, and get better at those moves. Celeste doesn't teach you how to push buttons correctly, it teaches you how to solve a problem, and this makes you a better gamer. And a better person. Celeste makes you a better person. After beating Celeste, I played Hollow Knight and Mega Man 11, two games I would have given up on and thrown into the garbage had I not played Celeste first. Because while most games make you grind to improve your character, Celeste makes you grind to improve yourself. When you succeed, you keep that skill and that knowledge. And just like in real climbing, when you go back to a route you've already completed, you ask yourself, how did I ever struggle with this? And that's when you know, you have become the genius beefcake. And that's what makes Celeste so amazing. I mean that and also all of the incredible soundtrack work. And the sprite work, and the level design in general, and all of the conversations you have with Theo. And Battleline, too. Pretty much all of the Battleline stages are amazing. Everything about this game is so goddamn good.